So if you're looking in for a testing of the PT2399 with the uh, modification, adding another reverb knob where you now have delay timing and a separate knob, and the removal of the R29 resistor, well, you're in the right place and stay tuned for the demo. Okay, so I had just dropped uh -huh, a uh, PT2399 uh, video the other day. Oh, well, actually, I just dropped this one, which was for this small reverb board with the single potentiometer. Um, and just a couple days ago, I did this one, which is a larger one designed primarily, they market it as for karaoke, but um, it's just got multiple mic input. It's got a um, an auxiliary input, um, all with separate volumes. So, you know, a lot more elaborate concept with more capabilities if you need them. Um, but I, you know, I'm a lot of this stuff I try and do to fit uh, conservatively inside a, um, a costume. Uh, so this is a bit bulky, but I, I like the concept and, uh, for 18 bucks or whatever it was, it was a good price. But anyway, um, the nice thing about it is, is it had two knobs, um, basically for, uh, the reverb and echo between the delay and uh, I don't know what the other thing is called. Um, but basically one is, yeah, the speed of, of return and the, or the delay, yeah. And then the other one is the quantity of kind of bouncing back and forth. Um, so yeah, today I did this one and the challenge was it only had this one knob and, and it was preset for whatever it was set for. And it was basically, you get what you get and you can just kind of, you can kind of enhance the, um, the delay or or whatever um but it did have the option and i mentioned in the video that you could remove the r27 um uh, resistor and put on your own potentiometer and um so that's what i did and i did not realize i'd do it this quickly otherwise i had incorporated it with that other video but this was actually pretty easy and i recorded the process of doing that separately because i wasn't i wasn't sure how it would work out um, yeah, cause I'm not big on soldering. So I'm, yeah. Uh, but it was pretty, pretty simple. I just set my soldering iron to like, uh, 870 degrees and then, you know, let it stay hot for a bit and, um, just put it on top of that R27 and kind of pushed and pushed and jiggled it around and boop, it slid right off. Um, I'll, I'll clip that video in here at the, at the end of this. But, um, then I just soldered on, um, these three pins here and um i stole this from my from my other setup because it's for um, i only use one mic i don't need two mics so i stole this from the other mic and those things split in half so i pulled it off for that and again these are 20k to 50k um uh potentiometers i i can't tell what this one is it doesn't if it's on if it's written on there I'm not seeing it, but um, I don't know. I would just opt for the 50K if I had a choice, but um, this is what I have, and it seems to work all right. So, yeah, let's let's get to it. I'm going to uh, show you how this thing sounds. It's, it's great. It's great. It gives all the nice sound of this beast in this nice small little board without all the extras. All right, so let's, let's get to it. So I'm going to put this on my new input here of course you can solder it directly to the board but um i just went for the easy route for me since this is what i had uh, i think everything's on except for my speaker so barring any feedback which of course it's got to chime in right um okay let's see if i can get this off the camera without touching the all right test test Test, 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 test. Okay, let's alter this one some. This is the good one. Oh, you hear it's um, got long delay. And so we can tweak this one now. Test, 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 test. So this seems to be the quantity. So the number of returns you get. Okay, I'm going to face this the other way so I get less feedback or something. But this is the, this is the cool one. 
because I'm not so much for the echoes. That's that's kind of fun. Yeah, I'll switch back. But that's it'll only do those uh, speed up and slow downs if you're uh, turning it in the process. But I want more of a reverb sound than an echo. So I can get here, here. Typically, it's up at the higher end. So it's just like a a faster return. It's like I'm inside a tin pipe. There it is. It's like I'm inside a pipe. And then so, all right, let me turn this down or something. Test, test, okay, there we go. And uh, then we can manipulate this and of course get slightly different tests or uh, sounds. So I'm maxed out on this thing, maybe I'll, okay, so this is a bit of an echo, kind of like being in a small cave. Uh, test, 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 hello, test, test. All right, I think you kind of get the uh, gist of it. You don't know the power of the dark side. All right, that's it. Um, I am glad that went... <laughs> as simply as it did. Uh, I thought it would be an ordeal. I'm glad I bought this board again because, again, I'd returned it once because I tried it without a, um, a preamp because um, at that time I didn't really understand what a preamp was and I thought I could get around it and uh, I really wasn't, didn't really know it didn't have one. Um, anyway, so I'm glad I gave it another shot and also gave this a shot uh, both of them have their own benefits, but this is my go-to now. Um, this is great. Small form factor. Yeah, I, th I think you've got the point. You've seen probably the video before this, and now this one. You can make your own informed decision. This was, I was surprised at how easy it was. Um, now, I do have one of the uh, soldering irons that actually tells you what temperature you're at. So if you don't have one of those, um, that may be... It, I wouldn't say it's more challenging. It's maybe just more risky. Uh, my concern was these little tiny resistors. Um, from my understanding, it's like you got to go in hot and be there for a short time and get out. But if you go there and you're like a medium heat and you're trying to cook it off, it may end up cooking other stuff around it and damage it. Um, but again, I'm no uh, soldering pro. That's just a little bit of a little, <laughs> little bit that I know. Anyway. Uh, I hope this helped. If so, uh, leave a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Take care, and I'm out.